Module 5, Eddy Current Properties An eddy current is defined as a circulating electrical current induced in an isolated conductor by means of an alternating magnetic field. Eddy currents get their name because the currents resemble eddies or whirlpools in a stream. The alternating magnetic field is developed through and around a coil connected to the AC generator output of an eddy current instrument. The eddy currents are generated in the test material through electromagnetic induction. Eddy currents alternate in the material and always flow in the path of least resistance. Eddy currents have the following properties. They are perpendicular to the coil's flux, and the direction of travel continually alternates between clockwise and counterclockwise movement as the current applied to the coil alternates. Eddy currents flow in closed loops, and their flow is restricted to the test material. Eddy currents flow in concentric circular paths, with their orientation parallel to the coil windings. Although eddy currents are restricted to flow within the test material, the coil's magnetic field extends into the airspace beyond the far side of the test material, which allows the inspection of multi-layer components separated by an airspace as shown below. Orientation of eddy current flow in the test material therefore depends upon the orientation of coil flux to the test material. Orientation of the coil windings and eddy current distribution are determined by the coil's configuration. Coil configuration and orientation are critical parameters of the test system. Probe bodies containing multi-directionally wound coils such as axially wound and circumferentially wound, increase the chance of detecting discontinuities with multiple orientations. Eddy currents flow in closed circular paths until disturbed by discontinuities or geometry changes. A discontinuity in the test material causes a break in the otherwise continuous path of eddy currents. For example, eddy currents cannot flow through a crack, so they are forced to take a new path around the crack. The diversion of eddy currents redistributes the eddy currents in the material, which causes a local decrease in eddy current density in the direct area of the discontinuity, and an increase in density around the ends of a discontinuity. Eddy current flow is most disturbed by discontinuities that are oriented perpendicular to the eddy current flow paths. Discontinuities that obstruct the eddy current's preferred path force the eddy currents to divert around, under, or over the discontinuity. Eddy current flow is least disturbed by discontinuities that are oriented parallel to the flow paths. In their attempt to flow in unbroken loops, eddy currents follow the path of least resistance. Due to the orientation of this discontinuity relative to eddy current flow direction, little or no signal will be produced. However, the discontinuity shown in the previous slide, that may have gone undetected by the eddy currents at that specific coil position, may be detected if the material is properly scanned with the pancake probe coil. Doing so will orient the eddy currents perpendicular to the discontinuity and allow detection as the coil approaches the discontinuity at a different angle. When a discontinuity interrupts normal eddy current flow, the eddy currents are forced to flow around the discontinuity. The disrupted flow paths increase resistance to eddy current flow. The image below shows a lamination oriented parallel to the eddy currents. Since the lamination does not disrupt eddy current flow, 
There is very low likelihood that it will be detected with the coil orientation shown below. Eddy currents behave like compressible fluids. When the test coil is moved towards the edge of the test object, the eddy current flow path will compress due to the edge effect. A similar effect, known as the end effect, occurs when a test coil approaches the end of a product, such as a tube. When scanning for flaws along the edge of a test object, care must be taken to keep the coil to edge distance constant, so edge effect signals remain constant. The eddy current disruptions in the test object on the right will produce an eddy current signal that is a combination of edge effect and the discontinuity. Edge effect can be reduced by probe design, such as a ferrite cupped coil probe, or by increasing test frequency. Circumferential cracks oriented parallel to eddy currents do not disrupt eddy current flow and will not likely be detected. In the case of the rod shown here, an axial crack is oriented perpendicular to the eddy currents and will disrupt them. In this situation, the axial crack will easily be detected. A radial crack will also disrupt the eddy currents. When testing solid rods or bars using an encircling coil, the eddy current strength is greatest near the test object's outer surface and decreases toward the center of the test object, where all eddy current flow is cancelled. This phenomenon is known as the center effect and is the result of the opposition of the eddy current field. Because of center effect, Eddy currents oppose and therefore cancel themselves at the center of solid cylindrical materials tested with encircling coils. For all solid rods and bar stock, there is no point in attempting to penetrate deeper with low frequencies to inspect the center of the object, as the sensitivity at the center of the test object will always be zero. Thus, Discontinuities located at the center of rods and bar stock cannot be detected with encircling coils. Similar to the center effect in bar stock or solid cylinders, eddy currents do not flow in the test material directly under the exact center of a surface coil at any given moment in time. However, since a test coil is always moving during scanning, the eddy currents away from the center of the coil will have an opportunity to intersect a discontinuity. Eddy current field strength is dependent on several variables. A strong primary magnetic field induces strong eddy currents into the test object. Eddy current field strength at a given depth is also affected by test frequency and the following three properties of the test material, conductivity, permeability, and dimensions. Current density is maximum at the material surface and decreases rapidly, exponentially with depth. 